gene in series and we, our model is Carnot model. So for Carnot model, efficiency of any hidden gene is given by W divided by QH. W itself is given by QH minus QL divided by QH. Model is Carnot. Q is proportional to T. So it's TH minus TL upon TH. This is Carnot model. The Carnot means that the engine is what? Reversible and is the maximum possible efficiency. Similarly, for Carnot heat engine, we can write sigma Q by T equals to what? Zero. That is the value of QH, which is the positive quantity for heat engine and divided by TH minus QL divided by TL is also equals to what? Zero. So we can claim that QH by TH is same as QL by TL. So we have this set of equation one and this one is another set of equation two. Let consider two engine in series. So this is the reversible heat engine one. This one is reversible heat engine two. The first heat engine is in contact with the source temperature equals to TH. The sink temperature for first engine is TL1. TL1 is same as TH2 for second engine and this one is TL2. This will label this as T1. The high temperature, this one is intermediate temperature and this one is low temperature equals to T3. The work produced by first engine is W1 and the work produced by second engine is W2. Of reversible that is a Carnot model. We want to find out the condition for intermediate temperature T2 in two cases. In first case, I assume the efficiency of both heat engine is same. That is eta He1 is same as eta He2. This will assume equal work in both cases. If we have the condition for intermediate temperature T2 and efficiency of both heat engines are same, then we have a formula of TH minus TL1 upon TH for engine 1, TH1 is T1, TL is T2 divided by T1, for engine 2, source temperature is T2 minus, temperature is T3, 2, T2 is the source temperature for engine 2, so T1 by T1 is equals to 1 minus T2 by T1 and T2 by T2 is 1 is minus T3 by T2. 1 is cancelled and there is an equality sign so minus is also cancelled. So we have T2 by T1 equals to T3 by T2. We can say that T2 square to T1 T3 or we can say that T2 is the under root of T1 T3 which is geometric mean of source and sink. Assume that the work done 1 is same as work done 2. If work done 1 is same as work done 2, Q1, Q2. Let's say this one is Q1. Let's say this one is Q2. Let's say Q3. This is T2, so this is Q2. This one is Q3. So from the first equation, we got W equals to QH into TH minus TL upon TH. So for W1, QH is Q1. TH is T1, TL is T2, TH that is T1 is equals to. For second engine, we have Q2 into the source temperature is T2, temperature is T3 by T2. Now what you observed here is that is this value of Q1 by T1 and is this value of Q2 by T2 are they equal quantity? Equal quantity then is T1 minus T2 is same as T2 minus T3. Minus T2 is equals to T2 minus T3. So we'll shift this minus T2 on this side. That will become twice T2. This side I get T1 and this is plus T3. Shift to this side is positive. So what is T2? So T2 is T1 plus T3 divided by what? 2. So this time is the intermediate temperature. is So this is arithmetic mean. When we have equal work, it is arithmetic mean. And when we have equal efficiency, it's a geometric mean. Other than these two, suppose we have given that the ratio between them is 1 is to 2. Or W1 is 2 times of W2. We desire this. 
that the work produced by the engine number one is two times the engine number two. So can we continue with the same equation? This, this is factor is multiplied by what? Two. So this factor is multiplied by what? Two. And now you have to solve this. Two times T2 and this one is one T2. So is it three times T2? And this one is T1 and this one is twice T2. So is it two times T3? So the value of T2. So for we are ready for any cases, but the standard case is that uh, for equal efficiency T2 is geometric mean, for equal work it is arithmetic mean, but the temperature is compulsorily in Kelvin. Two Carnot refrigerator, so this one is refrigerator, let call this one as refrigerator 1, let call this is refrigerator 2, this Carnot model, lower temperature is given as 20 degrees Celsius, let model this one as T1 this one has T2, this one has T3, the lowest temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius is 295 and the highest temperature is given as 200 degrees Celsius, this one is work 1, this one is work 2, the condition is given that both have the same COP, uh, COP of refrigerator 1 is same as COP of refrigerator 2. One, this one is Q2 this one so for this one this is a fitting effect so this one is Q2 part input is what W1 for second refrigerator that is this refrigerator the cooling effect is Q3 divided by work input that is W2 so what is W1 and what is W2 so we have to replace it first so Q2 divided by W1 is W1 is Q1 by Q2 and what is W? So this W2 is equals to is it Q2 minus Q3? Now this time we are ready to write temperatures. So this one is T2, this one is T1, this one is T2, this one is T3, this one is T2, this one is T3. One upon T1 by T minus one is 1 upon T2 by T3 1. Agree? Meter must be same. So T1 by T2 minus 1 is same as T2 by T3 minus 1. This one cancel. Is it become T2 square? It's T1 into T3. It means that the condition for heat in G and if it was are same. COP is as good as what? Efficiency. So if the COP is same, in case of your intermediate temperature mean, so this equals to 293. 3. That equals 